Much a man spent more than two decades behind bars for a crime he didn't commit. Ralph Smith has been a free man for several uh, for a few years now, but this week the state finally paid him back. He received more than a million dollars for his time served. New at 11 tonight, 10 TV's Richard Solomon spoke with Smith and his attorney about the life he can never get back. Richard? Yolanda Andrew, 21 years. Just think about all the memories you can miss in only one year. And after all those years behind bars, Ralph Blaine Smith tells me he's not angry, but grateful. There's something about just being in the moment. And this moment is one that Ralph Blaine Smith. It's little things like that that mean, mean the world to you, you know. Won't just let go. This means a lot just to be free, you know. Free from serving two decades of a 67 year sentence. The craziest part to him for a crime he didn't do let alone possibly even happened. I think about it here and there, I may be driving, and I think about like, wow, I just did 21 years. February 2nd, 2000. Smith was accused of being one of two black men that committed a home robbery in Pickerington. He tells me somehow his name was thrown into the mix. He was 24 years old at the time. Smith spent years in Marion Correctional Institution, missing time with his family, missing those special moments. I couldn't take another minute of being being in there. Yeah. It was, it, I had many times like that. I was like, so if another minute goes by and I'm in here, I'm going to go crazy. I'm losing my mind. But he knew he was innocent. And that's when he started going to the law library, trying to find a way to prove it. But in 2020, he sent a letter to an office on South High Street. When I read about his case and I started getting into it, I really believed that a crime didn't even happen. Defense attorney Joe Lindusky was on the receiving end of that letter. He picked up Smith's case and says a judge in Fairfield County granted a new trial in 2021 because evidence was withheld by prosecutors in the first trial. A prosecutor, not on the original trial, decided to drop all charges. For compensation, Smith was awarded $1.3 million from the state. There's no amount of money that anybody would take to do 20 years in prison, but it eases things a little bit and there's no other way to measure damages. But this moment <laughs> is all he wanted. What was the first thing that you did when you were released? I gotta ask. Um, it's something simple, it wasn't a big, I wanted some french fries. French fries? Yeah, yeah. Smith says more people with similar stories are behind bars and he knows moments like this are just an arm's reach away. I'm always grateful yeah. that, I, that I, I'm, I'm able, I'm blessed that I made it out. So what's next for Smith? Well, he's planning a federal lawsuit. He also tells me he's relearning the city and he's getting used to having a phone now, let alone an iPhone. But he wants to start advocating for people with similar, similar stories like him who are locked up behind bars.